let's shortly recap what the Internet is about. Basically, there are clients requesting information and there are servers providing information. The client asks the server for a web page by sending an URL to the server. The server looks up his file system and returns the page if available. Besides the page, the web server sends back a technical code which shows if everything went right or wrong. The best case is the response code equals 200, which means that the page was delivered successfully. However, a website is a kind of living object which is frequently changed by the owner. Sometimes pages are removed or the URLs of single pages change. Let's assume the requested page has got a new URL. Then the server won't be able to deliver the requested page anymore and sends back a 404 error code. This is an issue to be resolved by SEO. A user might find the deprecated page in a Google search result and after clicking on it, he will receive an error. To avoid this, you can implement a redirect from the old URL to the new URL on your web server. If the client then requests the former URL, the web server will return the new page to the client. In addition, it sends back a 301 or 302 response code. What is the difference between 301 and 302? You will configure the 301 response code if your page is moved permanently to a new address, which is the most common case. However, you use the 302 code if your page is temporarily not available, for example during a longer maintenance period of your site. Now let's pass to the question how you can find those pages which have been indexed but are no longer available and thus produce a 404 error for the client. I've added a link to the lecture description where you can retrieve an evaluation of some free tools. One of the most common tools is the Google Webmaster tool. There you will find a subsection, Health, Crawl Errors, which lists 404 errors on your page. Then you can work on implementing redirects. The way how to do this depends on the web server software you use. Apache, the most common web server, has a module called Mod Rewrite. There you can address the redirects you need. Since it might get too technical here, I've added a link to a good documentation to the lecture description and will now just provide a couple of examples. The first example redirects a file named oldfile.html in the subfolder seal to the new name of the file called newfile.html. In the second example, all files with identifier HTML are redirected to the subfolder articles of another domain called newdomain.org. Finally, I would like to mention that you should avoid 301 redirects to your home page. If a product's URL has changed, please target the new URL of the product and not the home page, even if it requests more effort to do so. For sure, if a product is no longer offered, it's unavoidable to redirect to the home page.